We need to get rid of this and have some sweet. Hey, hun. Oh, yes. I have a proposition. Is there no rest for the weary? If I can make you laugh, you have to do the snake mold. I don't know about that one because you make me laugh a lot. <laughs> what is another word for a python? A megabyte. Oh. A megabyte? What do you call an important English snake? An imported English snake? Important. Oh, an important English snake. No idea. Serpent. <laughs> He's not laughing. Shoot. That didn't make me laugh. Why should you never use a snake as a boomerang? It'll always come back to bite you. Oh, God. Hmm. What's a snake's favorite dance? The snake rattle and roll. Crap! She's not doing nothing for me. What do snakes do when they get angry like me? What do snakes do when they get angry like you? They throw a hissy fit! You're like... Alright, what do you get if you cross a snake and a snowman? Frostbite! Oh crap guys, I think I'm gonna be doing the stupid snake mold. Hey hon. I have a couple more. <laughs> um, what do you call a snake who works for the government? I have no idea. A civil serpent! Ah, oh, God. Why did the snake cross the road? To get to the other side? Yes, but to get to the other side! There he laughed, he laughed. Okay, we're doing the snake mold. That was so lame, I had a laugh. It doesn't matter. Oh, you want me to talk? Yes, I want you to talk. Oh, I thought I was just supposed to mix some stuff up. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, my wife asked me some jokes, and the deal was that if I laugh at them, I have to do one of these moments. But I had to work so hard to make you laugh. Because a lot of them weren't funny. I know, but... You like the, and the other one? The last one I laughed that wasn't funny. You like just, snakes, though. I know I like snakes, but that one was just so dumb I had to laugh. Okay, so now what you gonna do? All right, well, I'm gonna do this. It's a snake mold. Where'd it come from? I don't know. From a store. How are they gonna find it? Because it's you're gonna tell them that it's linked below. <laughs> <laughs> so this is five ounces. How do you know that? Because you told me. <laughs> <laughs> how did I how did I measure it? Well, not with a tape measure, with water. Okay. You have to explain to the new people how I do things. Don't you watch my videos? I do watch your videos. Okay. You're not doing a very good job. <laughs> it's the 4th of July. I know. That's it's why Independence here. Day. Oh god, don't sing. Please don't and no no accents. Get out of here! No. No. You. No. Hey, you! Alright, so... What's your This plan? is going to be like an unusual snake because it's 4th of July. So what I'm going to do is we're going to use this. Red, white, and blue little stars and... Is everything you make going to be red, white, and blue? No, it's 4th of July! I know, but still. So, I'm going to mix up... How are you inspired? Because it's the 4th of July! For your, I'm for your design? A proud American. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to mix up two ounces with this stuff, and this stuff, and this stuff, which I believe those are linked below. <laughs> and we're going to pour that in here, except for the head, because I'm going to make the head black. No, so, that won't work. How are you going to paint the eyeballs black if the head's going to be black? Well... There aren't any eyeballs on this snake. 
There must be eyeballs. No eyeballs. We can make them. Well, so you want me to do the head black? Well, you can do whatever you want. This is your project. I'm just simply All giving right, well, you I'm options. Just gonna do, I'm just going to do the whole thing with this stuff. And then we're going to come back in with a translucent blue. Oh. Ceruline blue hue. I hue. think that's an oil color. I'm not sure, but that's okay. And I got my inspiration Where? from a frog. A frog? Yeah, a frog. They eat frogs. <laughs> not all of them. So what frog? What it's going to do, it's going to kind of look like this with the red, white, and blue all going across the top. Oh, who made that beautiful frog? I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, I did. What a lie. <laughs> I bought it at Hobby Lobby. What? <laughs> Michael's aren't you crazy? What a liar! Ah! So then it's gonna be the trans translucent blue like that on the bottom. So it should look okay. Gonna look weird for a snake, but hey, if I gotta make this thing, I'm making it the way I want. Okay, cut. Cut. What are you doing? The doctor's in. <laughs> are you ready for your exam? No. Okay. <laughs> Then we'll just stick with the resin. <laughs> I'm putting on my PPE. Oh, good. My plastic protective emergency stuff. So this is the way we pour our resin, we pour our resin, we pour our resin. This is the way we pour our resin all day long. It's gotta be exact. That's good. That's good. Oh, wait. Just to drip more? Just to drip more. Yeah, we know how that goes. Okay. That was part A, ladies and gentlemen. Let me make sure it's right. Yep, it's right. Okay. Oh, man, you're getting it all over the well, sides. I didn't mean to. Does that mean I don't have to do this now? No. You need to scrape that down in there. Ah, scrape, scrape, scrape. Now, if you have followed Glitz and Glitter, we all know that this part A, hence this, and this part B, hence that, those two combined are in here. We have to steer it. How long? For a minute. One minute? Five minutes. Five minutes, be back in five. You almost done stirring? Yeah, I got one more minute left, but I had a great idea. Oh, God. First, I just wanted to give a shout out to my three brothers, Larry, Curly, and Mo. Okay. <laughs> then, what I came up with is after my masterpiece is done, we're going to auction it off. Auction it. We're going to auction it. Okay. So when it's done, we'll find out where the auction is going to start at. How's that sound? They can't just buy it as a demo like they buy mine? Well, they could, but it's going to be such a masterpiece that it's going to... What do you think it's going to be worth? Thousands. Thousands, thousands of dollars. <laughs> You'll be lucky to get five. I got to feed little Johnny. Little Johnny? Little Johnny. Okay. All right, let's get some glitter in there. All right. So we're going to start off with just a little bit at a time. Oh, way, way more than that. I'd put half that jar in. Mr. Glitz using glitter. I don't think I deserve to name as Mr. Glitz yet. What do you have to do to deserve it? Well, I need... I need more experience? I need votes. More ex votes. I need votes. <laughs> okay, what are they going to vote on? Whether I should be called Mr. Glitz or not. I'll make up a shirt. I've got, look, look right here. So how <laughs> many votes do you need for you to make a shirt on the cricket? Oh, just one. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I had a cricket and I know how to use it. Yes, cricket. he does know how to use the cricket. I will give him that. So we can make up a shirt that says Mr. Glitz. <laughs> and on the back, we'll put a big thumb that says what? Was taught by Mrs. Glitter. Yeah. <laughs> All 
All right. Hey, you know what I just realized? I have no idea. You don't have to pop bubbles in this. You can't even see any I bubbles. I know. Look at you being all like resin professional. Yeah, I think I need a little bit more. More what? More of this. All that glitter is going to sink to the bottom. You think that's enough? Let me look. I can't see. I can't see. Let me see the stick. Uh, how much is left in the thing? Not much. I'll just put it. There's not much left anyway. All of it? Stick it in. Done. I don't know if I'm, when I'm going to find red, white, and blue glitter again, though. If you need it, it'll be in my snake. <laughs> yeah, let me just get it out. All right, let's get that baby poured. Hang on, I'm... I'm making sure that it's... Do you it's, know how deep it's going to go? Not too deep. Not too deep. Well, it can't be too deep. I only mix up two ounces. Yeah, but you don't have to use all two ounces. Okay. Let's start. Let me move this a little bit. Hmm. Which way do I want to start? It's going to flow. It doesn't matter. Don't you learn anything from my videos? Yeah. To run when you start coming at me with a joke. Or when you want to do They're a funny. Or when you want to do a shoot off. You don't run from those. I will be now. You keep beating me. You can use your little silicone tool over there and scrape it together. My little pointy sticky thing? Yeah. You're gonna use the whole thing? Well, I don't know yet. I'm just waiting. I gotta I wouldn't use too much more. But this is your snake that you're auctioning off. So far, just looking at it. Where's my little pointy sticky it thing? It needs to get into the tail right there. I'm thinking that this auction is going to start at least $1,000. I'm going to lose subscribers. Well, they're going to, I'm going to make up my own channel. They're going to start coming to me. Ah. <laughs> so what I'm doing now, ladies and gentlemen, is maneuvering my little speckles around filling in all the little nooks and crannies oh that's good i never thought of that there are a lot of little scales in there you're gonna have to get them in there oh duh what do you think i'm working at unfortunately people this does not fit in my resin curing machine that's sad you know the resin curing machine i lost and i had to buy her yeah that one this one's too big. I need a bigger curing machine, maybe. <laughs> Do they make them bigger? I think so. Oh, no. Well, it might, not, it might not look like any snake that we really know, but I think it's gonna look pretty cool. It's a patriotic snake. Okay. All right. Yes! Step one. Step one. Done. Done. Hello, glitter people. As you noticed, I'm not wearing the blue gloves. That's because Michelle said I graduated. I no longer have to wear training blue. Well, the blue ones are actually better than those. Hey, who's telling this? Sorry. <laughs> I'm telling this. You just okay. stay behind the phone. All right, so we mixed up four ounces of our A. And our B listed in the link below. Listed it, stored it up for five minutes. So now we're gonna do add our blue. And it was new. It wasn't open. Get it blue new? Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna add just a little bit. Is that right, hon? <laughs> I think that's what you told me to say. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way the resin goes that's around. That's going to take a while. To the resin goes around. The resin goes around. Because that's an oil-based paint. It's not uh, acrylic. So you're going to really have to mix it really good. Not like that. You're going to put bubbles in there. You told me to mix it really good. Not whip Jeez. it. Don't whip your resin. Whip it. Whip it good. Whip it. Put your serious side on. I don't have a serious side today. Don't so we were gone for a couple hours. We went over to 
my mother-in-law, and yes, she still loves me, even after that mother-in-law joke. We had burgers and some, what was that other stuff we had? Cauliflower <laughs> souffle or something like that? Healthy food. We had healthy food. Then they made coconut cake for a birthday, and I don't like coconut. Is it mixed in? Well, I'm checking. How Looks. did I tell you to check your color? To taste it on my tongue. Mm -hmm. No. The, the paper towel. Yeah. So, let's see. Oh, I think that's a good color to you. That looks pretty good to me. So, so it took very little. The size of a pea. The size of right, a hon, pea. Right, hon, you told me the size of a pea, right? <laughs> yeah, you told me. To. <laughs> so, I'm going to just mix it up a little bit more. Don't whip it like he's whipping it. I'm beating all the air bubbles out. You're beating all the air bubbles in. Well, then you taught me wrong. You said to beat it fast and get rid of all the air bubbles. No, I did not. Okay. You sure that's the color you want? You can always add another color to deepen it. No, I think that's going to look pretty good. So we're going to try that. But now what do I do? I mix, mixed four ounces of resin, but I lost some over here. You're not going to use four ounces of resin. Oh, I need my little pokey sticky thing. Little pokey sticky thing That's listed in the link below. All right, let's see. Notice how delicately <laughs> we don't even drink, people. He's not drunk. Now I'm supposed to dome this. And for all you glitter people, professionals out there, you know what doming is. Can you explain it to them? No, they're professionals. They know what it is. You don't know what it is, do you? I'm not 100% sure. So, oh, some about not making it go over. Why don't you squish that that way so it, okay, it's going down. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this is gonna be my third piece. Those of you that didn't vote for me, you wouldn't know. But that's okay, we still love you. There's still room. I still got resin left. Wow, it might take most of that four ounces. I don't know how. Oh no, you'll have extra. I he am. was going to throw the extra resin in the garbage, you guys. Can you believe that? Oh my God, I almost had a heart attack. He's like, well, what do you want me to do with it? Uh, make something out of it. So we made a holographic bookmark. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the vote for the best one made. What are you talking about? Hey, I made mine. It's not my fault you didn't make yours. Okay. <laughs> no. If that's how you have to win a vote, it's definitely not dome. I'm looking, I'm looking, let me look. It's pretty close. It's not there's dome. No, there's some over here. It'll fit all that in there, I think. the tail end. Oh, that's such a skinny little area. Ooh. Okay, stop. Oh. Okay, don't put any more in for a minute. <coughs> Let it settle or help it settle. I gotta move a little bit up into here. See this part right here? Hang on, I'm working on this part up here. Squish it into the tail. Then you won't have to trim it later. Okay. See that? Use the flat side. Like that, boss? Yep. What about that side? I 
me see. Is it domed? Nope, it's still flat. Well, no, I take that back. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it won't fit anymore. So. So I had an idea, people. You're gonna get the <clears throat> bubbles off somehow? Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna elect to go with the alcohol because I don't want the flame to hurt the mold. Look, you have extra. Do you want to make little snake earrings? Oh, I got barely It'll, any. That'll make two of them. Right. That one, or there's three to choose from. That one, that one, or that one. Let me pour it in this little squiggly one. I don't know how that works. It'll just flow into it. That's probably enough. You're just gonna have to, move. yeah, you're gonna have to get some of that out. Yeah, we'll get some in the tails. Gotta go in there. Definitely over poured that. How do I get it out? You're going to use that end and squish it over to the other snake. Just move it over. Not from the tail, from the middle where all of it's sitting, silly. That's going to be a fun cleanup job. Ooh, I did put quite a bit in there, didn't I? Mm -hmm. We still have enough for a couple more snakes. We're just throwing that extra away. No! <laughs> Is that enough out of that one? Yep. You could use a paper towel. That's what I would do. Look how nice that got off of there. I've trained him well on cleanup. So I had an idea. Oh boy. <clears throat> As everybody out there knows, I gave up my motorcycle so my wonderful wife wouldn't be worried about me. Well, my wife wants to go on a trip. And I'm not going to say where because it could cause some issues out there with some people. So I'm just not even going to mention that. But this trip's going to cost for the both of us about uh, $10,000. So, if any of you happen to know somebody that's looking for a motorcycle. There's too much in there. I know. It's a uh, Yamaha 1300 V-Star Touring Edition. I want to try to get at least 6,000 for it. It's got the windshield, the saddlebags. I believe it's either right at 8,000 miles or maybe a little bit less. Comes with one helmet that's got Bluetooth on it so you can listen to music while you ride and phone calls. And then I got a red helmet. And if whoever sends me a buyer, then I will give them $250. I think that's a pretty good price. Plus... What if these people live in Australia? Well... Oh, the bloke? Down under the bloke, Nishila. Oh, that's so what they call him, Nishila. <laughs> well, yeah, I can't go to Australia. See Hopefully that. somebody... Somebody local. But uh, along with the $250... Pan around here, baby show all your stuff up there at the top. Why? Because along with the $250, Michelle's gonna give one of those. <laughs> I'll give you guys anything if you sell that bike. I already promised I'm not gonna ride it and I gave her the key, so it's been surrendered. Use the rest of it for... For what? For these two. Trust me, that's a lot of resin. <laughs> Just don't over pour it. Just put one tiny. Oh yeah, tiny, look at all that I scraped. Put one tiny spot in and then move it around so you don't have to do cleanup. One tiny 
tiny spot. Okay, stop. That's enough. Then you have to drill through their little heads to make earrings. And I will not wear these. If anybody wants a pair of snake earrings, <laughs> let me know. Email me and I will mail them to you at no charge. I made these for you. No, you didn't. You're not going to wear something I made for you? No. That's it. I got to need a little bit more up here. No charge for snake earrings. And like I said, we're going to auction off <laughs> my beautiful professional red, white, and blue snake. You don't want to put this like out in the bushes and like chase away any little rodents that might be oh no way we should be able to make at least twenty thousand dollars on this <laughs> thing Look, that's pro that's a professional piece of artwork right there oh god okay see yeah. i told you you'd have enough for two more probably enough in here for one more but i don't want to make one more yes you're going to use the rest of that you're such a slave driver no waste none well, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. You probably still will have a magnet full. <clears throat> okay. There's probably still enough in there. You know how hard it is to pour it in this little squiggly line? Oops. Need a little bit, a little bit more. So we'll have Michelle take pictures and information on a motorcycle. Just an idea, but it's got to go either way. So this way, this way somebody can make some money. All right, now what? Pop bubbles and then see you tomorrow. You I'm know you're gonna have to wake up early before work so we could unmold. I wake up before you anyways. Oh, I mean, I have to wake up early to unmold. Okay, okay, okay. Ready? It's the bottom anyway. Good morning, glitzy people. <laughs> All right, so we did the snake yesterday and we ran into a problem. Can't figure out what we did, but I mixed up two ounces of A and two ounces of B, and we used this for the blue. So when I came in to check in it, check on it, it was just like a, a water puddle. So I called Michelle, we came in, we looked, and what we ended up having to do was wipe all that out because it wouldn't cure. It was just, it, it got more watery than anything. So we tore all that out and we mixed up a new blue and we used alcohol ink. This one right here. So here's a couple of the extras that we made. Ooh, <laughs> nice. See the sparkly, sparkly. That would be the glitz and the glitter. The glitz, and then that's the glitter. And then, that's still not cured all the well, way. Well, that's gotta get a clear coat, otherwise it won't be. Flip it over. There we go. That's what we're looking for, the holographic. Yeah, so that came out So if you put cool. a clear coat on the back, it'll stiffen that right up. So. We'll leave that in there. And, yes, this is Michelle's curing machine that she won fair and square. And what we did was we actually propped it up above the mold and it, it worked. So look at that. Yeah. Let's bring it over here. Do and, the little ones first. All right, let me pop these little. Remember, if any of you want snake earrings, let me know, free of charge. Why is my stuff gotta be free? <laughs> I said the earrings. A little clean up to do. Oh, there's detail on that tiny thing. Yep. Yeah. 
think. Hmm. Kinda Drill neat. a hole right through their head. I'll put some earring, some silver uh, earring pieces, whatever you call them, findings. Mm, let's see this side here. Yep. The last little guy out. Then the main event. Yeah, it was disappointing that that did that. I did Google if you can put oil-based paint into resin, and it says that you can, and I know that I've used it before, so I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm not sure I'm how this is going to look. to be the paint. Because I've never seen a red, white, and blue snake, but, you know, being the 4th of July and all. So we're going to try it. And it's see. now the 5th of July, so well, it was the no fourth. longer counts. I made it on the 4th. <laughs> The back came out looking really cool with the new blue. These little. Oh, it looks like I got too close with that teeny baby torch. That's people why I don't use torches. You can ruin yep, your look mold. What you did right there. So easy, and I didn't even use a real torch. You can knife it, but you gotta if don't ruin the mold with the knife. That's that's why I use alcohol. That's crazy. Hopefully it's still usable. Hmm. What? Problems? No. Oh. Oh. That's kind of cool. That's an awesome looking blue. That was this Indian ink right here. Alcohol ink. Alcohol ink. Indian ink. It came out exactly like I thought it would. You like it or not like it? I like it. I think it came out looking kind of neat. It's not as defined. I thought there would be stand out red, white, and blue more. I'm just not seeing it, I guess. I see a lot of red. Well, there's silver. So this is being auctioned off. <laughs> We're going to start the auction off at $10,000. I know some of you people really want this. <laughs> it's not sticky like Michelle's one was. Oh, whatever. It right. was just worse. We just had to empty it and start over. You can make a cool earring, right? Just hang, get two of them. You could have two of them like that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, sure. Or a necklace. I think it's pretty cool. I think it came out looking okay. Let us know what you think. I'll get you some final pictures. Hang on, let me put babies with them. There we go. All righty, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Bye, glitters.